Hey guys, and welcome to another Future Stars player review. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the 88 rated uh, Jeremy Fringpong from Bayer Leverkusen, who, of course, is uh, one of the two uh, Future Star cards that you can get through exchanging your uh, Future Star. Future Star? Yeah, Future Star swap tokens. Uh, the other player, of course, is Conor Gallagher from uh, Crystal Palace. There is actually a lower rated version of Fringpong you can take as a right midfielder. Probably wouldn't recommend person going with that one. Uh, I think the ACA cards um, for like only five more tokens or whatever. And in his natural position, it's just a lot better to be able to go for. And uh, I thought, you know, I'll go with this card. He'd be my new right back potentially if he does better. Uh, and if I really, really like him, he could be my right back to replace uh, the moment's desk that I currently have in my team as well. If anything, he wouldn't maybe be like any sort of an upgrade. But he's just a, I'd say it's just a cooler card design. If if, if anything, and has slightly better in-game stats than compared to desk. But desk obviously as well even has... Um, in, in his area, some better stats as well. But I thought I'd still go with him anyway because I missed out on lots of the tokens to go and get like the player pick pack for team one or whatever. There's like a good four or five tokens that I missed on. So I kind of just. I, I was initially going to go with the player pick pack, but in the end, because I'm missing out on so many tokens and that the SBCs or objectives expired, I just thought, you know what, we'll just sit and we'll just get the Spring Punk card instead. Um, I, I'm still relatively happy with that. And he actually played very well in game. I mean, he got me three assists in three matches. So his attacking, as far as a fallback goes, is second to none. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, to be fair, you know, Dest as well is also a really, really good attacking fallback. But, um... Fring Pong was fantastic. Like, you know, the way he he was, you know, providing balls down that right-hand side, through balls uh, in particular, he was extremely good with. Uh, you know, I, I look at his passing for a fullback. It is very good. 88 crossing, 77 vision, which goes to 82 with that basic cam style. You know, his, his long passing goes further. His, his short passing goes to 91. So, you know, his passing really, really good for a fullback. And it reflected that in game with the amount of assists that he's got, you know, averaging one assist for, for every match, which is, you know, which is obviously superb. His pace is fantastic. Very, very quick you don't have to worry with him getting tired at any point in the game uh because he's got that 94 stamina so it, it's great you know for an attack and fallback it's kind of used as if they got no stamina he does have good stamina so you're never going to really experience him getting uh dead tired or anything like that dribbling as well again very nice i mean his agility and balance again for a fallback superb you know his composure ball control just really good and even his defensive stats you know aside from maybe his heading but, you know, it's not like he's a central defender where he needs to have, probably at this stage of the game, like 90-plus heading accuracy. 76 as far as a fullback is concerned still isn't too bad at all. Uh, you know, and his physicality stats, again, very, very solid. And the one reason why, if you want to focus on just getting a Future Stars player, you know, if you're kind of torn between getting Fring Pong or, or maybe just Gallagher for your team, maybe you're not going for the 85 times 10 pack, maybe you're not going for the... Um, for the Future Stars player pick or whatever. I think the reason why this card holds, although it requires less tokens, why he holds a little bit better value than Gallagher. Obviously, Gallagher's easier to fit into a main team. I mean, you know, Fring Pong, you can link him in with that, you know, that new Verts cards from Bayer Leverkusen of Future Stars and stuff like that. Uh, but Gallagher, on the whole, being from the Premier League, is easy to link into a lot more people's teams. Having said that, there are so many similar players to that Conor Gallagher in this game. Like, so many. Especially now, we're in, like, post-team of the year. We've had so many SBCs. You know, we've had so many different cards that have been released that the chances are um going with a fring pong is likely to be more of an upgrade i'm not saying it might be, you know because some people might have like a team with the yeah, hakimi in the defense or whatever but on the whole fring pong is more likely to be a little bit more of an upgrade to people's teams than what a gallagher would be you know there's there's not as many good fullbacks in this game there's not many you know high-end fullbacks certainly in the right back position there are obviously quite a few you know like team with the yeah, hakimi uh like that uh shajinho dest moments as we see that we got during team of the year but there's a lot more kind of, you know, there's a much more bigger pool of quality central midfielders in this game. Not so much of right backs, you know, uh, without having to go and pay like top whack for them, you know. So a card that you can get for just for completing objectives or, or simple SBC to get yourself a really, really good high-end right back that is very much at the power curve. He isn't under the power curve or anything like that. He's very, very good. Uh, I would argue that he's worth doing and he fits into my main team so as far as i'm concerned i'm very very happy with him but anyway guys that'll finish off this player review thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later